Watch me make bench seat from this to this functional seat. Holds away. Hi there, my name is Evan. I just want to share some woodworking projects with you. Today, I'm going to make an outdoor bench seat. So, this is the area I'm going to put the seats in. So I've set this up as a temporary measure just to protect the pump from the sunlight. So what I've done is put this on a hinge so I can get to the pump and clean the filter. So what I want to do is build a nice little bench seat there to also protect the pump from any UV light. So here's all the equipment you'll need. Measure and cut our frame. We need two pieces at 420. Take measure, mark 420, get your set square, right angle, mark it, let's cut it. Whenever using any type of power tool, make sure you use your PPE, personal protective equipment. Safety glasses, hearing protection, and a dust mask. I've set up my drop saw and my vise as my stop guide. So I want, I've measured 420. This will allow me to cut another length exactly the same measurement. Perfect. Four pieces. So we've got all our timbers cut up. I've uh, set up the frame. Now we've got 420 here. We've got 420 across as well. I'll square up the frame and we'll put screws in there to hold the frame together. So now I've drilled through my timber, I pre-drilled it, I've also countersunk it so we can see that the screw will be flush when it comes out. So I've done that for all four corners. Now what we'll have to do is make a pilot hole through the pre-drilled hole so it joins up with the other piece of timber and then screw it in to make our frame. Bit of a quick tip, to make this square what I've done is I've put my uh, square inside the frame and I've secured it with my clamps. So now I know that this corner here is square. So what I'm going to do now is pre-drill pre it and then set the screw through. I've always I've got a smaller size drill bit as well. So let's do that. So now let's screw it in. Perfect. Three more to go. Okay, so we finished the frame and now we'll just check that it's all square. Perfect. Magic. Yep. Got our frame. Now we've got our frame, we need to cut our boards for our seat. 
So this is the timber I'm using. I'm using Merbau 19mm by 70mm. We're going to measure 420 because we want the slats to go this way. Uh, we've got 420 here, so if they're 70, six, we'll have to cut six pieces at 420. We'll screw them on there, and then after that, we'll cut a nice frame around it so it covers all our screws like that. So we'll just do a box frame around that. So let's cut our seat. again is I've set up my drop saw I've used my vise as the stock guide and I've secured the timbers there and again don't forget always use your safety equipment when you're using power tools Now that we've cut all our seating up, we'll line it up and we'll see what it looks like. So there's our beautiful timber seat. We'll dress the front and we'll dress the sides and we'll uh, screw them in. The timbers for the fascia. So I've got my long piece and my two short pieces on the sides. So we'll fit them up to just give you a look on how it's going to fit. Obviously it's going to sit a little bit further up, but that's going to be our end result. So let's get in there and screw them up. I'm going to hide the screws. So I'm going to drill from inside and then put the board on top and drill from inside so everything is hidden. So let me start drilling all this out. Take two. set this up on a flat surface obviously my bench isn't flat um, I've turned the whole thing upside down I put my fascias on there now I've clamped them on I've pre-drilled it all I have to do now is just screw it in all right so I'm going to drill through and then put the screws in Put the sides in, conceal the screws, so that's all there. Now we need to put the seat, the uh, slats in. So for the first one, I want to put a couple in there so it's nice and tight. What I've also got is these little feel, uh, spaces. So they're one and a half mil, which is a perfect gap size. So I'm gonna put those in there. I'll drill them, countersink it, and then screw in the screw.
there we have it, a finished bench seat. Need to cut out a notch over here so it can sit flush when I put the hinges on there so that won't be in the way. And I'll do it on both ends here. Cut these away, just need to use my chisel just to clean up the edges, make sure it's nice and flush. So that's pretty good. It's perfect. Excellent. So now We'll drill the holes for the feet. We'll cut the feet to length and we'll bolt them in. Cut my two legs like so. I'll fold away. What I need now is so they can fold away, I need to uh, round the edges. So I've got this, I found this round. So half round, we'll just marker out on there, same with this, we'll round off the edges, we'll screw the bolt in there, so I've just rounded this off, now we're going to screw it through Screw it through and screw through there. So I want to I want to make a hole in the center here. So I, the thickness of this is 40 mil. So I want to get it in the center. So I'll measure 20 mil down and get that 20 mil there. So double check. There's my hole there. Email. Perfect. So this is where I need to drill through. my holes now I'm ready to drill a hole through there so I put a half a mil spacer there so it's off the, uh, off the bottom put it nice and tight against the side clamp it in place and now drill it I managed to locate the other side of the hole where the bolts gonna go through so all I'd need to do now is just enlarge it my drills. Put the bolts through, now it's time to put in the legs. So I've got a washer in there, another washer in there as well. Yeah.
and tighten her up. Perfect. I pre drilled my holes and now I'll just put in my hinges. Perfect. I'm ready to fit it. So I've taken the old one off. I've lined up my center and I'm just ready to screw it in. And there you go, all finished. What a great transformation to this part of the garden. You've just watched me make a functional piece of furniture. It has two purposes. Firstly, it allows me to get access to my pump for the pool so I can change the filter. Probably secondly, the most important part is now allows me to sit here and enjoy my garden. Thanks for watching Ev Shed. Catch you next time.